hello everyone you are welcome how to solve this beautiful exponential math problem which is 40 raised to power 20 divided by 20 raised to power 40 so here i will try to solve this problem using two different methods two different approaches so in the first approach here we will try to factorize this one base and we will try to make these two bases the same so therefore we can write this numerator this 40 is 40 can be written as 2 times 20 which is 40 raised to the power 20 divided by 20 raised to the power 40 now here in the numerator we will use an exponential identity a times b whole raised to the power n so here in the numerator we will use this one exponential identity a times b whole raised to the power n it can also be written as a raised to the power n times b raised to the power n so using this identity here this numerator will become this will become 2 raised to power 20 times 20 raised to power 20 divided by 20 raised to power 40 but we can write this 40 is 20 times 2 which is 40 now here in the denominator we will use another exponential identity a raised to power m times n so here in the denominator we will use this one exponential identity a raised to power m times n which can also be written as a raised to power n whole raised to power n so using this identity here this denominator will become 2 raised to power 20 times 20 raised to power 20 and this will become 20 raised to power 20 whole square now since this number in the denominator is in square form so we can write this number two times so therefore we can write this whole number is 2 raised to power 20 times 20 raised to power 20 and we can write this as 20 raised to power 20 times 20 raised to power 20 now here this number is same so we will cancel this 20 raised to power 20 with this 2 raised to power 20 raised to power 20 so this number will become this will become 2 raised to power 20 divided by 20 raised to power 20 you might just look at two both the numbers in the numerator and denominator both the number has the same power so here in this table we will use the same power exponential identity so here we will use this one identity we can write a raised to power n divided by b raised to power n s and we will divide the basis a by b and we will take out the power common so using this identity here this number will become this will become 2 by 20 raised to the power 20 now let's simplify these two numbers so 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 10 is 20 so this will become 1 by 10 so this is 1 by 10 whole raised to power 20 now here in this one number we will use this one identity and we will apply the power over the numerator and denominator so this will become 1 raised to power 20 divided by 10 raised to power 20 now what, what about 1 raised to power 20 1 raised to power 20 means we have to multiply this base 1 20 times so multiplying one any number of times 100 times 1000 times any number of times it is always 1 so this will become 1 divided by 10 raised to power 20 so finally 1 divided by 10 raised to power 20 is our answer and value of this interesting exponential math problem now here i will try to solve our problem using the second method now to solve the problem using the second method here we will write our problem again now our problem is 40 raised to power 20 divided by 20 raised to power 40. now what we'll do here in the second method in the second method here we will try to factorize this one power in the denominator so therefore the numerator will be the same 40 raised to power 20 divided by and this will become 20 raised to power 40 but we can write this 40 is 20 times 2 which is 40 
Now here in the denominator we will use exponential identity a raised to power m times n identity. So here in the denominator we will use this one exponential identity a raised to power m times n which can also be written as a raised to power m whole raised to power n. So using this identity here this denominator will become the numerator will be the same 40 raised to power 20 and this denominator will become 20 raised to power 20 whole square since there is square over this number so therefore we can write this number two times so therefore we can write this whole number as numerator will be the same 40 raised to power 20 and this denominator can be written as 20 raised to power 20 times 20 raised to the power 20. Now here look at two, these two numbers. These two numbers have the same power. So here in these two numbers we will use the same power exponential identity. So here we will use this one exponential identity in this step. A raised to power n divided by b raised to power n which can also be written as you will divide the basis a by b whole raised to power n so using this exponential identity here this number will become so here in this number we will divide the basis and we will take out the power common so this will become 40 divided by 20 all raised to power the power is 20 times 1 over 20 raised to the power 20 so let's simplify these two numbers so 20 times 1 is 20 20 times 2 is 40 so this will become 2 by 1 now 2 by 1 is simply 2 so this will become 2 raised to the power 20 times 1 by 20 raised to the power 20 we can also write this number as 2 raised to power 20 divided by 20 raised to power 20. Now look it to this number here in the numerator and denominator both the number has the same power. So here we will use the same power exponential identity. So here we will use this one identity and we will take out the power common. So this number will become this will become 2 by 20 all raised to the power 20. Let's simplify these two numbers. So here, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 10 is 20. So this will become 1 by 10 raised to the power 20. Now again, using the above exponential identity, we will apply this power. We will take this power over the numerator as well as denominator. So this will become 1 raised to the power 10 divided by, so this is not 10, this is 20 divided by 10 raised to the power 20. Now as we know that taking any power of 1 this is always 1 because multiplying 1 any number of times it is always 1. So therefore 1 raised to the power 20 is simply 1. So we will replace the numerator with 1 and denominator will be the same 10 raised to the power 20. So what is this number 10 raised to the power 20? This is a number having 1 followed by 20 zeros. So it is a very bigger number. And dividing 1 by a very bigger number, it gives him a very smaller number. So therefore, 1 divided by 10 to the power 20 is our answer using the second method.